And hello. So it's been a very long time since I've actually done a video. Um, but basically the video I'm doing today is going to be a kind of a basic rundown of the Face of Mankind interface. So that new people and old people like, unless you've played long, long ago, don't really understand the new system, they can get kind of an idea of uh, what's going on here. So, all right. <clears throat> well, um, everyone's kind of familiar with this, and if you've done the tutorial, you know what you see is, you know, I mean, a lot of this is self-explanatory, this stuff, and some of it is also kind of worthless, doesn't really mean a whole lot yet. Um, I mean, yeah. You still draw a drop in like six to ten shots anyway, so. Okay. Um, anyway, I'm going to go over some of these with people. With you, derp. Um, yeah. So the skill interface. This is pretty simple. You, uh, depending on what you want to do. For example, let's say we want to research hacking. Okay, so we go to hacking, and you would select the what you want to learn, which there are requirements. For example, I'll show you, see how some of these I can't learn? Um, this is a better example. So see, so I don't have these learned, so I can't get these. Once I get those, I can get these skills down here or vice versa or whatever um, and this stuff is in real time not in like uh, well real time and in game time are synced now but it used to be the timer in game was for um, basically for every four in game minutes it was one real life minute but they changed the timer so that's irrelevant now um, and your queue down here, so let's say I added this and didn't want it. So to actually get this, you'll right click on it and click add queue. Once it's in here, the timer will count down, but if you don't want that skill, you can go remove from queue. And this kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of what exactly this does when you use it. So yeah, that's the skill interface. Next is the faction interface, which you can use to um, basically, you know, join factions, um, change your existing faction, and so on and so forth. So, um, basically, this gives you your factions match of the day, what territories, which these are the territories down here, but we have none right now, so the service world services that are owned, um, allies, the ability to leave the faction, and members of the faction, and um, basically by rank. And then, you, this is the actual member list, which it lists applications, people's names, so on and so forth. Departments, um, yeah. Pending invitations, if you have an invitation to another faction, or if your faction has invitations out to other people, that's what is going to be in here. Statistics, lists your faction's money, goals, um, a log of what faction leadership has done, pay by rank, etc. And then on transaction log, you select the values you want to look at, and then it will actually, you know, you'll have to put in a date range or click pending, and that'll actually display basically what money is coming in or going out. Rank settings is kind of more administrative. You basically click on a rank and you can assign specific permissions based on that rank. The warrant list, which um, you can list warrants that are against you or your faction or placed by your faction on other, on other people. And basically, the warrants, if you're at a certain rank, you can add a new warrant. But this lists what uh, KOSs are against you. So like if you have a special status, you'll have a VIP or HC or whatever. Those are usually green. Um, and then, yeah, red is usually bad, depending on the faction, but that's all. Yeah. 
Kirk Tree is really only deal withable by the uh, faction leader who can, uh, you know, assign specific bonuses based upon your faction's uh, type. And then you can actually apply to other factions while you're in a faction currently. And yeah, so that is the first one. Um, now to actually equip stuff, you just place items in here. It's simple. Or you can place weapons in your hotbar, so on. Um, groups or missions, you can create them and assign a reward. And assign specific factions to be allowed to join, like if you're doing the covert operation with a group of friends or what have you, you can yeah, and it pays everyone to actually do to be in the mission. And you can select payment via the actual faction's money, faction credits, your own credits, or um, wait, FC. So, um, and then this lists currently available missions based on your search criteria. And this allows you to approve missions for money and such. Um, the mail system, you know, browser launches the in-game browser but there are certain things with it that kind of can break your game so you don't want to run specific things in that browser um, I actually had a problem where the dialogues wouldn't appear and it actually caused fun to crash don't know if the developers have fixed that yet but yeah you have a fully functional calculator which will actually go away um, notepad you can use this to track information about members of your faction and, um, or other people or whatever the hell you want to put in here I use this to track um, orders for when I was selling items for the cash shop um, to actually write mail it's pretty self-explanatory character name or defined value like um, bracket faction bracket sends a message to the entire faction if you have the permission for that a title I believe it must be above three characters or no it's five five characters and then your message you can delete everything in your mailbox I wouldn't recommend doing that but you know there's all these mailboxes um, and then the bounty manager you can look at the wanted list which is people that have a lot of EP um, basically what you've created for bounties um, and then you can accept bounties and whatnot if you have the right uh, things for that. So, yeah, um, that is the interface. <laughs> um, I might do more of these videos if this video has actually been being used. Um, you know, I don't really expect much, but hey, it's there if you need it. Um, Hopefully this taught you something. If you have any other ideas for videos, let me know. And enjoy.